Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy curator at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Ouagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Maybe you've seen her name in the news recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was just checking the lock on this display case. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Who was King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right, because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. I'm glad to be here. Please, tell me more about the exhibit. In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith, too, Beach Hill Sora Numero Uno. This monolith, it's an important discovery? Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists, Americans and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. Why do you mention the nationalities of the archaeologists? Because in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. What does this monolith look like? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Could you explain what a glyph is? A glyph, as in hieroglyphic, is a picture that represents a word or an idea. Henrik is the human encyclopedia on the subject. How do you translate them? Henrik can help you with that. Henrik, is he on staff here at the museum? Henrik Vanderhoon, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Do you think the glyphs hold an important message? I really don't know. The Maya were at their peak during Pakal's reign. After he died, things began to go downhill. The civilization never regained the oomph it had under its most extraordinary king. What was the key to Pakal's success? If the message on that monolith is from King Pakal himself, it might give us a clue. Credit for a discovery like that can only spell one thing, my dear. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E. Anyway, there's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry, you'll be in the swing of things soon enough.
Go ahead and take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. Bye! It's locked. It looks like some pieces are missing. You must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik van der Heun. Pleased to meet you. What are you working on? Just some light housekeeping. Why are you wearing that mask? Oh, these dusty old artifacts are murder on my allergies. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. Sunny June bobbed around this place like an untethered balloon. Who knows where he left those documents? You'll just have to hunt them down. And FYI, Senor Del Rio has been extremely touchy about this monolith loan, so try not to keep him waiting. Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well. As you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. See you around, Henrik. Will do. You have no voicemail. Press 9. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, great to hear from you. How's the internship treating you? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? So far, so good, I think. There's a lot of work to do before we launch this exhibit, but somehow we'll pull it off. Glad to hear you're settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. You have no... Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza. 
I'd like to place an order, please. Have you ordered from us before? Yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? BH-119K. BH-119... BH-119K? Beach Hill? Are you serious? That's right. I'm the new deputy curator, Nancy Drew. Well, whoop de doo it's Nancy Drew. But Silvio's curatorial bonanza no longer does business with Beach Hill. I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. And you jokers won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. 